Hi, my name is Joe Morris, and I am a sometime bike tourist. Um, last summer I biked in Normandy, and while I was there, I found out how I can use the Osman application in order to find campsites. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So within Osmand, um, you can see that Normandy here is green. That means that I've already downloaded it, so you can find out how to do elsewhere. Um, and I've downloaded the full information, not just the streets, so that I get campsites. In order to make them show up, I'm gonna tap on here. I'm gonna tap on configure map. <clears throat> I'm gonna tap, tap on POI overlay. You can see campsite is already there, but that's because I've searched for it in the past. So you'll have to type on here, tap in the top part, type in camp, and then I'm gonna get rid of my keyboard. You can see all the different things that relate to camps. Um, you don't wanna tap on former prison camp. You want to type on the first one, campsite tourism. And then that types, you can do a show campsite on the map. <clears throat> that actually doesn't seem to work, but it does now put it into this list so that you can go into, tap the screen, tap the menu, tap configure map, turn on POI overlay, and now, like I'd had originally, you have campsite that will show up in the quick list. Tap on campsite. It's also probably helpful to tap on POI overlay labels. And then the only thing you have to do is zoom in sufficiently so that you can see them. And now there's a whole list of a bunch of campsites um, that are available. Sometimes if you tap on them, they will give additional actually useful information um, but more often, like this one, they will just give you the names of them. It's very helpful to uh, have internet access so you can do a Google or other search to ensure that the campsite is actually open. 95% uh, of the time, I found that they were actually there, um, but it's a good idea to make sure they're actually there because there was one time I showed up and it wasn't actually a campsite. Um, uh, this is based on OpenStreetMap data, which is kind of like the Wikipedia of maps. Um, and so uh, the data is all user contributed. Um, and that's how you do it. Um, this works not just in France, but in other locations. Make sure you download whatever regions you need before you leave on your bike tour, because the files are pretty big. All right, thank you.